starting with the name of almighty allah this video is about automatic determination of liquid limit so in this video we'll try to learn that how we can determine liquid limit automatically using one single command of microsoft excel then we'll try to learn a new technique to draw a graph of liquid limit so let's try to learn it we have already discussed the basics of liquid limit uh, from casse grande method but here we'll try to uh, learn some new tricks and tips uh, regarding the liquid limit so as we know that we perform three trials uh, against uh, for three uh, for three point method and against uh, three trials we note down the number of blows or strikes and we need to determine the moisture need to determine the moisture content against each trial or each strike as we know that according to casse grande method moisture content uh, liquid limit is the moisture content against 25 number of blows so we interpolate uh, in between these two values to obtain the moisture content against 25 number of blows so that is what we will do in this video uh, let's try to find out first the moisture content for all these three trials uh, we have the data from an experiment uh, we have number of blows for three trials we have weight of container we have wet mass of soil plus container and we have dry mass of container so we need to determine the moisture content for each trial as we know that moisture content is basically weight of water divided by weight of soil solid multiplied by 100 so firstly we'll find out the weight of water so weight of water can be found out by subtracting these two rows means wet mass of soil and dry mass of soil uh, will be subtracted in order to obtain the weight of water so i'll be subtracting this quantity from this so this is weight of water now i will drag this formula in order to find out the uh, weight of water for all these three trials now i need to find out the weight of dry soil i'll be subtracting these two rows in order to obtain the dry mass of soil this minus this again i'll be dragging this formula in order to obtain the weight of dry soil now we need to find out the moisture content as already discussed it is weight of water weight of water divided by weight of soil solids bracket close multiplied and we have obtained the moisture content against 41 uh, number of blows now i'll be applying this formula to all these three cells in order to obtain the moisture content against each trial now uh, the first trick is uh, if you want to uh, interpret your results whether your results are accurate or not you must know that uh, with decrease in number of blows moisture content should decrease because number of blows depict the strength of the soil if number of blows are higher moisture content will be lower so uh, with the increase of moisture content soil will have lower strength in order to sustain the number of blows so you must know that this trend should be increasing and this trend should be decreasing if it is increasing it reads so this is the number one trick now we have the moisture content against 29 number of blows we have the moisture content against 17 number of blows but we need to find out the moisture content against 25 number of blows so we'll use one single command that is trend so type uh, is equal sign then t r e n d trend double click then here you can see uh, it suggests to uh, select noun wise as we know that for liquid limit against uh, along y axis we have moisture content so i'll be selecting two noun wise so what will be my two noun wise uh, uh, two values along the y axis so it will be 70 and 80 because i need to interpret the value between 29 and 17 that is 
25. If it were to find out the value at 30, then I would have uh, interpreted the uh, values between 29 and 41. So this is basically an interpolation. So I'll be selecting two uh, values along the y-axis that will be these two values. Now place comma. Now uh, it's suggesting to select known values along the x-axis. So I'll be selecting these two values, uh, the corresponding values which will be plotted along the x-axis. So I have selected these two values. Now place comma as I want the value uh, against 25 number of blows. So I'll be putting 25 here. If I would have to find out the value against 30, then I would have uh, uh, put the value of 30. So now bracket close, bracket close and enter. So this is the value against uh, 25 number of blows. This will be called as liquid limit. So this is the trick to find out the value uh, interpolation. This technique is has also been used in C1 analysis to find out D60, D30 and so on. Now we'll try to plot the graph of liquid limit. So I'll be going to insert, I'll be selecting this plot, scatter plot, right click, select data, add along the x-axis I'll be plotting number of flows. This along the y-axis I'll be plotting moisture content. Now the values have been plotted uh, in uh, theoretically, theoretically, uh, theoretically, theoretically this axis should be in uh, log scale but uh, arithmetic scale does not make any um, difference in my uh, experience so that is why I'll not be using uh, log scale here but you must use the log scale. Anyhow, no, uh, according to ASTM standard, you need to apply the uh, best fit line to join these points. So I'll be applying trend line. It's a linear trend line, basically, a best fit line uh, joining these three points. So now the liquid limit is the moisture content against 25 number of flows. This it is uh, 73.45. We have already determined it. Uh, so you can. Uh, visually determine as well from this graph, but I'll be uh, I'll be explaining a technique that how we can automatically draw a graph. Firstly, uh, I'll be I'll make it aesthetically present. So I'll be selecting uh, the solid line. Uh, you can change the color as well. Now I need to draw a, a line against twenty five number of blows automatically so uh, I need to define the coordinates I'll draw two more lines that will be one line against 25 that will uh, intersect this uh, line and then a line corresponding to uh, this point at y-axis so uh, I'll be defining some coordinates so firstly uh, 0 and 25 0 and 25 and then the second point will be this liquid limit and same liquid limit. Now I'll again draw a line select like data adds this along x-axis I'll be selecting these two points along the y-axis I'll be selecting these two points. Okay so you can see here uh, two points have been marked I'll be joining these two points in order to obtain a straight line here. Now I'll be uh, defining one more line. Mm, okay, before this, I need to define the coordinate, so I'll be selecting this one again here. Now I'll be select data again, select x axis, this along the y-axis this okay now add another one along the x-axis i'll be selecting these two points and along the y-axis i'll be selecting these two points and now you can see that 
these two points have been marked and these two points have been marked now we need to join these three points in order to obtain these straight lines so i'll be selecting these points so right click add trend line but you see there is no trend line the reason is there is we need to select a point solid line so you see a solid line has been plotted here the same i'll be selecting these two points right click add a trend line the trend line has been drawn now you can change its color or its type as well if you want to draw a solar line go to the dash type and select this one so you can see here the line against 25 number of blows responding moisture content has been drawn so this is how you can draw a graph now you can make changes in your graph in order to make it more aesthetically pleasant graph but in this video you learn that how we can apply a trend command in order to obtain the liquid limit in one single step then uh, you found out that how we can draw a graph uh, aesthetically pleasant using coordinate system so i hope you like the video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and share thank you and uh, allah hafiz